What's going on, Kirill? How you guys doing? Good, Russ. How are you? Great, great, great. How was the first day? This thing's nice and loud. He can hear me good. Good first day? Yeah, great first day just to be out here with the guys and all the work we've been putting in. Uh, you know, in California, all the work we've been putting here and here since we've gotten here, it's been unbelievable. You know, just the extra time we've been putting in one on one when we can, and guys look really sharp. It was an excellent day. Uh, defense looked great, offense looked great. Um, you know, I didn't get to see too much special teams, but I'm sure they did good too. Uh, but it was just uh, the locker room and everything. Every guy, every guy's excited to go play ball and go do our thing. Russ, you had your guys out there in San Diego, the, the receivers and some of the offensive guys a couple weeks ago. How much of an advantage was that, and what was the, the point? What, what head start did you want? Well, it was huge. You know, obviously the transition to a new team and, and be here with such a tremendous talent. You know, you think about guys like Tim Patrick, you think about Courtney Sutton, you think about Jerry Judy. Uh, these guys, you know, kind of hitting made a sweet seam route down the seam right there on one of the last plays of the practice. Uh, and all of that translated to today, you know, just to be able to go through the little details of the game and the knowledge of what we're trying to do and us coaching each other up as much as possible. And the intelligence of these guys is really, really exciting to see a guy, guy like KJ Hamler get healthy to be working his way into here and practicing and playing. And um, it's, been, it's been really excellent. And then just the line, I mean, just in terms of, um, you know, usually you have false starts, you have, you know, miss assignments, little stuff like that on first days, but we didn't have any of that. We were really sharp. We really, you know, really were on our, on, on our idea of executing and getting in and out of the huddle, playing crisp football. And that was very evident today. So that was really exciting to see that. And so, uh, and, that, and that, that's a testament to great coaching by the guys and also uh, just by the guys working hard on themselves and studying and getting their playbook. So as long as you've been in the league, have you developed something every offseason that you, you like to kind of train in a certain way? And how much has kind of being on a new team for the first time changed any of that if it has? Well, I think, um, you know, having an amazing 10 years in Seattle and just uh, obviously loving it there and everything else, it was an amazing experience. And to, you know, be somewhere new, um, it's a new experience, you know. And so every time you go into a, a, a day, I remember way back in the day, I actually arrived here, I don't know, 11 years ago, and Peyton Manning was in the locker room, and he was going through his notebook, and I got to talk to him for a little bit, and um, he said, I don't I remember you from somewhere, you know, and uh, I just remember that was one of his first days here, and um, so it kind of takes me back to those moments, it takes me back from going from NC State to Wisconsin a little bit, going, arriving somewhere new, and I think that any time uh, you leave a place, but also you also arrive at a new place. You always want to make it better, and you always want to try to find ways to implement something that that maybe guys didn't know or or, or some type of experience. But I think also too, uh, you want to grow personally. You want to continue to grow with relationships with guys and make those bonds. And we have some great bonds in here so far. And then I think also too, um, you know, came here to win. You know, I came here to win. You know, that's what we're, that's our mindset. And so whatever it takes to do that, we're going to do. George talked about uh, how. You guys talk almost every day, and you wanna, you wanna know, or he involves you with roster decisions, what they're looking at in the draft. Why is that important to you to, to be involved like that? Well, I think George and I have developed a great relationship over the past couple of weeks. I think that um, first of all, he's got a brilliant mind, knows what he wants to do, you know, he has a great plan and everything else. Um, and so, just his energy, his focus, just the whole building is really. Really exciting, just how everybody works together, and George is the leader of that. Um, and I think that um, in terms of uh, getting that knowledge and everything that he's thinking, um, we have so many tremendous players. And so, um, you know, I think going through the draft process, obviously playing ten years in the league and um, and, and playing a lot of football, you kind of you kind of know what it takes a little bit. And I think that um, you know George is you know always you know you know give me ideas. Hey, what do you think about this guy? Hey, check this guy out and everything else. And uh, it's it's great. You know, I you know I love football. I'm passionate about. It. I'm passionate about the game. You know, I'm passionate about trying to do everything I can to help this team win. And so um, that, that's the focus right now. So what's your relationship like with Coach Hackett? Say again? Yeah, no, no, no. I, we had we, obviously our off-the-field relationship pretty good, but on, on the field, first day today, I told him at the end, you know, congratulations on his first, first, uh, first, first practice, our first practice together. It's it's a blessing. Obviously, um, to be a head coach in the National Football League, it takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of excellence and everything else, and I think it's gonna be really amazing. Uh, he's an amazing teacher, um, and I think that's what um, that's what you love about it. I think everybody's learning at such a rapid play, pace. Uh, in exponential rate, and so that's been really amazing. He just brings great energy. I think that uh, he's young, he's vibrant, he brings that, that intelligence to the game. Obviously, he's got a great pedigree um, and everything else, and um, you know, he wants to win too. So, uh, but our relationship's really tight. Obviously, uh, to give him a little handoffs here and there, I, you know, I, um, somebody said they call him White Lightning. I don't know, <laughs> but but uh, you know, he looked good. He looked good over there. He, he was. Uh, he, he had some nice handoffs. So when you watch that film of draft prospects. What are, what are the traits that you look for 
when studying that that says this guy's going to be an NFL player? Well, I think I think obviously the talent level. Uh, if it's a receiver, you throw it to him, does he catch it? Uh, does he get open? Uh, is he tough? Can he block? Can he do all those different things? But I think just the, uh, does the guy make the team better? At the end of the day, I think that's a big part of it. Uh, obviously, for anybody to come on this football team, it's such a tremendous uh, team with so much talent. Um, and then I think it's such a hard part to make this team. You know, so you got to have guys that have that extra, uh, extra tenacity and that ability to really understand the game. And so that's a big part of it. And George and the team, you know, to tell me a lot about those guys and all that. So, um, but really, you know, my high, high focus right now is the guys in the locker room that we have right now. Obviously, the draft's coming up, and uh, that's always an exciting time. I remember going back to, you know, April 27, 2012, when I was drafted. Uh, it was a, such a blessing. And so to be, uh, to be able to be in the locker room and help lead a bunch of guys and then also guys who are going to be coming in, uh, it's, it's my job to make sure that we, 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 we train them up to be the best they can possibly be and have the best careers they can have. You've been Russell, in the community a lot, Russell, the games. We see you everywhere at Community Hospital. Have you gotten a sense of how much this fan base wants you to be the one to restore this franchise to glory? And, and second part is, what's your deal with FaceTime? With, with <laughs> FaceTime? Um, well, first of all, um, it's been... Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, I, to be in Seattle for 10 years, to have an amazing career there, it was, it was such an amazing experience. I, I, don't, I don't take it for granted. Every day was a blessing. I think of all the kids I got to see, you know, from the first day I got there to the last day, you know, Seattle Children's Hospital. We have our school there, the Why Not You Academy, and all those different places, and all the, all the different people we've met along the way. And so to be able to come here, um, a new place, a uh, new journey. Obviously, I was drafted here. Um, you know, by the Colorado Rockies way back in the day. And so there's a, there's a deep um, love for this city um, for me just off the initial uh, experience of that. I remember showing up and I had a pinstripe suit on, had my baseball hat, Rockies hat on, and I, and I, I was ready for the world. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, my dad had just passed away. So there was a lot of heaviness on my heart. So to be here and to, uh, to be rooting for the Nuggets, to, to, you know, go to the Rockies games, to be rest in the community, go to the children's hospital here, just to be with the guys and go to dinner and have some fun and hang out, whatever it may be, just to also put the work in. Um, you know, it's, it's a tremendous honor, you know, and, and I'm really excited to be here. I know me and Sierra and our kids are excited to be here. Uh, and just, it's been an amazing experience so far. And at the end of the day, uh, this is a winning organization. And that's, that's one of the reasons why it made sense for, if I was gonna go somewhere, I had to go somewhere that, that wanted to win. And then this, this is one of those places that definitely wants to do that. Along those lines, uh, the, the whole world knows uh, that you bought a house already here. Yeah, oh, geez. Uh, yeah. I, I guess it was surprising it was so quick. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I want to, I want to be here, obviously, um, you know, to, to live here, and to, you know, hopefully, I can get to finish my career here, you know, and, and all that stuff too. So, you know, I'm just taking one day at a time. I, you know, it, it's kind of, it's kind of a, you know, unfortunate thing that people get to figure out where you live sometimes, but. Um, you know, hopefully, uh, I guess I got to heighten some security and stuff like that. I guess I don't know, but um, it's a uh, you know, it's it's been like, the, the city's amazing. I mean, just the energy here, uh, just the people. Uh, obviously, it's a great sports town. Um, the schools, everything, everything is a big part of it. So, you know, for me and so uh, and for our family. You, it's for it's imp more important for you as the quarterback. Say, say again. The, important for you as the quarterback of the team to live in the city. Yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, uh, to be here is, uh, is is such an exciting thing. You know, to uh, have the opportunity to be here and hopefully f here for a long time and all that, and hopefully win a lot of football games. Rather than somebody who loves football, how much do you enjoy learning the new playbook and new terminology and all that? Yeah, I'm, I'm wildly obsessed with it. You know, um, you know, I, uh, I don't sleep much. Um, you know, so I, I get to, you know, get up early. I'm usually here pretty early, around five fifteen, five thirty ish, somewhere somewhere around that range, and uh, just to be here um, and to be able to put the work in, you know, every day, you know, whatever it takes. Um, it's also fun, you know, going through 10 years and to be around some amazing coaches along the way, you know, that I've been around so much knowledge that I've gained from college all the way to all the way to obviously being the pros, um, you know, and, and to be able to win a lot of football games, too, and be in those tough moments and everything else. You're able to teach and, and also able to be a part of it, but also come in with an open mind. One of my biggest goals you know, that I wrote when I flew home from here, actually, after I met Peyton and going home all the way back to Richmond, Virginia at the time, I wrote all my goals and I wrote down my, my present goals, you know, life and also football. And I wrote down my legacy goals, you know, and, and one of the goals that I wrote down was treat every day as a new day, treat every day as day one. And that was a big one for me. Um, so that's always uh, how I approach the day, no matter how hard it is, how tough it is. Uh, the good thing about this position, uh, you, you get to play in the, in the greatest moments and everything else. But also, you have to go battle through, through the toughest moments, too. 
And so that journey, that, that, that ability to be able to be neutral in the midst of it all um, and know that uh, you got people to lead and people to guide and people to, to love and just push and challenge to be their best version of themselves. I mean, like a guy like Jerry Judy, just being around him, you know, we've had some amazing discussions and amazing talks, obviously, put the extra work in. Just uh, you saw what he did today. Maybe, maybe you saw a little bit, but he did some good stuff. Um, but uh, just to be around him, so many other guys, too, that just constantly in your ear, hey, man, can I, can I, what do you do here? What do you do there? And asking questions about the game, how you take care of yourself or whatever it may be. You know, and, and how do you play so many games in a row? How, how do you do that? Like, there's those little questions. And I think it's a lot of that is, is just um, loving the game, being passionate about it, and, and uh, doing whatever it takes. You know, winning is everything. Um, you know, I, I did anticipate, you know, back in the day playing, you know, football and baseball. I, I, that was something I always anticipated. But um, to be here, you know, like I said, you know, I, I didn't anticipate it being, you know, you know, going somewhere else. Um, you know, I always thought I was going to play my whole career in Seattle. Um, but God has, some, you know, different timing, you know, sometimes. You know, I always thought I was going to be NC State the whole time. And, Things changed or whatever, and it's okay. Sometimes I think that life changes, and, um, and I think it's all about how you react to change and how you respond. And um, I think the biggest thing that we can go through in life, good or bad and indifferent, was a lot of good. I think that to be able to go through it and go to a new, new organization, to a winning organization, an amazing city, amazing place, you know, um, it's such a blessing. You know, so to be here, standing right here, um, you know, now that I'm here, it's like it, it feels right, it feels great. I'm excited about it. And also, too, at the same time, I know there's a lot more to do. And, uh, you know, you, every day you have to go into that, to, into that challenge with that mindset that there's, there's more to do. And, and there's, there's so much more that we can, we can accomplish together if we do it together. And that's what I'm really excited about. I'm excited about the journey. Um, you know, it's a fresh start, you know, in, in it and all. And, um, and it's time, time to go after it. Last one, Ryan O'Halloran. You mentioned getting drafted 10 years ago. They're going to be calling guys this weekend to draft them. What are the feelings those young guys are going to well, <clears throat> I think one of the things that I realized, um, you know, you know, for me, I, I always knew that my height, you know, people were going to say this or that, you know, and I, I always said, you know, my height's not going to define my skill set, and it's not going to define my attitude. And I think that at the end of the day, when you go into, uh, you know, you, no matter how tall, how small, how whatever you are, um, I think you have an opportunity to, once you get the opportunity, all I, all I ever said is, I just need one person to give me a chance, one team. And I think that at the end of the day, um, going into it, Seattle gave me that amazing chance, and now Denver's giving me this amazing chance to, to step up and play. And so I'm excited about it. I'm excited about, you know, about being a Bronco. Uh, it's such a blessing um, to wear this, this, this jersey. Um, every day you get to step on this field, um, you realize that it's a, truly a blessing, you know, and that you want to take advantage of every day. So what I would say to any, any young player coming in is take advantage of your opportunity. And I always say dreams come true when you capitalize on opportunity, so take advantage of it. And so uh, I was fortunate to be able to take advantage of mine. I still got more to do, and it's got, still got uh, some more opportunities to take advantage of. Thank you very much, bro. Thanks, Russ. Thank you, guys. Let's ride.